what up everybody it's your boy young fizz and welcome back to another tutorial today we're working on one of my favorite uh, DAWs of all time which is Pro Tools I'm using Pro Tools version 10 you may be a 9 or 8 or maybe even 12 but I just want to show you guys that it doesn't take a lot in order to uh, to mix a beat um, using just basic plugins uh, I come across quite a few people and they're always asking me like what do I use and what do I use and 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 how do I use this and you know but it doesn't really matter what you use it's really how you use it um, there's no such thing as a bad plugin um, there's no such thing as a bad sound it just may not be used for that application and I'm a firm believer of that and let me show you what exactly what I'm talking about so I have a beat here and let's just strip the plugins completely and let me play the beat for you of what it sounds like just with nothing on it I'll even mute my uh, verbs and claps and everything so the beat's just naked. So that's pretty much the beat right there in its raw form. And then of course I've added like some kick compression and some verb and some, some clap verb. Um, I'm going to keep the clap delay because I want to play that in the second verse. It does some cool patterns there. But what I really want to show you guys is how I beefed up this kick, for example. So the first thing I did was add some parallel compression to it. And I came up with something like this. So already that's helping the track. The next thing I went ahead and did was add a channel strip to it. And it looks something like this here. So just some basic uh, compression, EQ. And then I add some more EQ and added this one here. And these are all stock plugins. Another one is gonna be Sans Amp, and this one really does the trick for me and really beefs it up. And I know it kind of sounds bad with the with the extra noise, but no no worries with that because basically it's gonna be masked anyway when it's in the mix. So you're really not gonna be able to hear it. And this last plugin I added, I added just you know a, a little boost here. Looks like a gain of four decibels at a uh, 50 hertz just to give it that boom sound. So when you really put all like everything together, let me go ahead and unmute everything, unbypass everything. This is what you have here at the end of the day. And that's pretty much the tutorial. So I hope you guys, uh, you know, go out there and experiment with these uh, plugins and, and Pro Tools and, and try to make something sound good and just really try to understand what an EQ does, what a compressor does, what, what happens when you add distortion, what happens when you add saturation. Uh, I challenge you guys to go out there and, and use these plugins and try to make a mix sound as, as great as possible. Remember, it's not what you use, it's how you use it. And it's not also what you use, but you know it's the knowledge you have behind the plugin and everything like that. So it's your boy Young Fizz. I hope you guys learned something, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.